Hello, hello, welcome back to another episode of Stonefast. Uh, where we left off last is uh, we learned some things about some things, and apparently they had to evacuate this place because of the drow. Um, that actually about sums it up. Oh, and uh, I, I can't leave this place until I uh, get the stone tablet. So yeah, I heard a skeleton or something around here last time at the end of the last episode. Let's figure out where they are. Larder? Larder. Okay, I thought that maybe it said ladder. Uh, not sure why. Uh, definitely felt like a thing, though. Yep, here's another evacuation order. Uh, oh, I can place it on there. Good to know. Set up the surrounding area just a bit to see what is around me. Let's backtrack just a bit so we can go through those rooms I passed up. Uh, the privy. Uh, what is this? A bath? Bath. Okay, sauna, um, what's in here? Flint and steel and bottle of enchanting. Why is a flint and steel important? I will never know. I'll be taking it anyway. Um, apparently there's some buckets. Um, let's see, some water here. More water here. I hear some spiders around. Uh, warehouse. Hmm. Anything of interest in here? It's a fairly big room. What are the pressure plates for? There's a question. If I activate all four of these, does it do something? No, it doesn't. That would be pretty cool if it did, though. Um. Oh, those are signs. I can't get on those. I can get up here, and what is in here? Dwarven Garnet Wine. Nothing of massive use to me at this moment in time, but I'll have to keep that in mind that they are there. Still hear quite a few uh, spiders, and there is an emerald. Uh, and some health and regen, fire charges, I'm not sure what those are going to be useful for. And a splash potion of night vision. But, oh, couldn't make that jump. Um, wonder if I'm supposed to get, oh, there's a chest, arrows. Alrighty, a couple stacks of arrows, pretty standard for me. I wonder if I can actually get over there, and that is a lot of spiders. <clears throat> Alrighty, let me see if I can actually get up here again and uh, make this jump. I feel like it should be possible, but I'm not entirely sure. Of course, I could just end up killing myself too, apparently. Uh, there is a chest over there, actually. So that kind of indicates to me that like I should be able to get over there. Oh, that's a bunch of charcoal. Hmm. Yeah, I, I feel like I should be able to get over there. But maybe I was going about it the wrong way. Yeah, here we go. Uh, glass bottle. The speed 2 potion is interesting. Not sure I want that right this moment. Um, chest is not trapped. Redstone power core can be placed on the lowstone with another bottle of enchanting. Okay. Oh god. Fell in the spider web. Uh, the spider sounds are actually getting really annoying at this point. Let's go ahead and drop the hostile creatures down to 10%. Half their volume. Alright, so we've gone through the bath. Uh, what is this? What is this? Just a fountain? Might be just a fountain. Uh, there is a cauldron there. Anything underneath of it does not look like it. Doesn't appear to be anything of interest in that. Pretty. Um, looks to be a water thing down there. Doesn't appear to be anything else around here. Oh, what do you expect to find? Uh, not this. Not this at all. Alrighty, with that in mind. Is there anything here I can get rid of safely? Um, hmm. I don't know if there's actually anything here I want to get rid of. Uh, I would like that potion, though. Uh, let me get rid of one of those and two of those. There we go. Alrighty, and there is nothing over there? Okay. Um, let's continue onward, then. Uh, eating the cookies first, by the way. Just to get rid of them. 
uh, even though it might give me diabetes. Um, actual concern in real life, by the way, uh, don't, don't overindulge on cookies. Uh, ooh, poison a spider, not good. Training center. What's in here? Checkpoint. Hmm. Training book in there. Let's go ahead and put down some torches around here. Just so we can. That interests me. I wonder what the bows are for. Uh, this is a hopper mine card. Ah, that has some arrows in it. I'm assuming this one also has some arrows in it. It does. Uh, and I'm still noticing a bit of lag. Do I have anything here that I can actually turn off? Alternate blocks off. <clears throat> that should actually help a lot with the lag. Hmm. Alrighty. Oh, there's another spider. Kill that one. Anything in this room then? Doesn't appear to be... That appears to go on. Iron armor. Full iron armor. Iron swords. Battle rage of plate. Thorns of three. Uh, shortness 3 in there. That does 8.75 damage. I will take it. Um, I will also take this stuff. And go ahead and put that stuff in there in case I need it at a future date. Man, my inventory is already clogged up. I will put the carrots and the pumpkin pie in there along with the cooked salmon. Um, that way I have a little bit of food on me still, but if I need to I can always come back for this food. Alrighty then. Um, is there anything else in this room that I may have missed? There was a spawner over there, but I can't do anything about that at this moment in time. <clears throat> Alright, there was a book in here I wanted to read. Uh, training... Uh, Training homily. It is said that the path to mastery opens to those, uh, opens to those who aim beyond the most difficult of tasks. Light the fire in the lamp of your spirit. This is the path to the key I seek. Uh, he who stands in the door to fight shall stand against enemies without fear or flight. Those who would, in other circumstances, be our allies may, in desperate times, stand in the way of the greater good. Alrighty. Um. To me, that kind of sounds like shoot the pumpkins. So, shot that one. Shot that one. Uh, the path to mastery opens to those who aim beyond the most difficult tasks, like the fire and the lamp of your spirit. Okay. And, aha. There is a wooden button there. Apparently, I got the button. Good to know. Is there any other buttons around here? No. Alrighty. What does that lever do? Oh god. Um. Hmm. What's in here then? What's that button? Um. Arrow, arrow, arrow. Get it ring visible, which is actually kind of annoying. They are regular zombies, though, to be sure. Whoa. No. Go away. <clears throat> kill, 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 kill. Uh, the reason I'm jumping, by the way, is to get crits on them. Uh, for those that may be unfamiliar with Minecraft's uh, mechanics with combat. Uh, whenever you hit a mob on the way down from jumping, you deal additional damage. Uh, which is definitely a good thing against armored mobs that are wearing diamonds. Uh, do keep in mind though, you do actually replenish your food hunger bar a lot quicker by jumping repeatedly, so keep that in mind. Uh, use only to light the lamps. <clears throat> um. Oh, okay, those lamps. How do I light those lamps then? Do I, do I just right click on the thing here? No. Need to put that in there and then 
Okay, so those button, uh, those buttons on the wall over by the lamps must be for the uh, dispensers here to actually fire them. Alrighty, that's been lit. This allows me to continue. Why is there an iron golem in here? Is that iron golem going to attack me? I really hope not. At least I hope it isn't going to do it by uh, default. So that is a lot of damage. Um, hmm. Let's go ahead and eat up here. Let's go for that iron golem way over there. Because he won't be able to aggro onto me from this distance. There's a lot of health that I need to take down, which is going to take a while. But I should be victorious in the end. Why are you coming this way? Other golem? I'm walking away from you. Alrighty, so here's one of the two fire charges that I need. Apparently they drop them. Um, go away. Don't want you up fence. Alrighty. Next iron golem. Oh, there's signs up against that wall above the doorway there. Alrighty, I should be able to kill him before he gets to me at this rate. There we go. Uh, there are unfortunate times when those who, in other circumstances, would be allies stand in the way of the greater good. Ah, that's what the book was talking about. Alrighty, press that button and this button. And... Block of redstone. Okay. Random block of redstone. I'm on the pressure plate, and then what? Oh! Regal Axe. I'm breaking three. Is that it? Um. Hmm. Is that the path? Blah, 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 blah. Hmm. That, that, that must be it then. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Okay, that's what that lever was for. Let's restock up on arrows, and I'm actually not going to bother to keep that axe. Uh, it does deal with some nice damage uh, compared to punching, but uh, it's not really worth it, to be honest. Also, anything behind these paintings? Uh, that's actually one thing I actually don't check for too often anymore, is hidden entrances behind paintings. Though I believe they uh, prevented that from being uh, permitted to any more in 1.8, uh, which actually is what this map is in, by the way. I believe I forgot to mention that at the beginning. Oh yeah, those, po those uh, spiders don't poison you in easy mode, do they? Almost forgot about that. Um, hmm. So, wh was there anything back th over this way that I did not explore? Uh, there w oh, that's the same room. Uh, no. Okay. At least I don't think there was. If there was, I hope I don't have to go back for it, whatever it was that I may have forgotten. Because I don't want to backtrack. Backtracking is annoying. Let's head through this way then. Uh, this way is dark, and it's, it is an area we have not yet explored. Hmm. Staircase. It leads up. Hmm. Let's see then. This way seems more promising than up the stairs at the moment. Though I think um, this continues branching. Why is there... Is that a giant arrow pointing up? Uh, there very well could be a giant arrow pointing up, but uh, that looks like a maze of sorts. Yes, Rider's Reed torches. I'm going restock on those. Oceans of Night Vision Faded Maps. What is this way, then? Chest. More arrows. Don't need those. Uh, sharpness 2. Unbreaking 3. Dwarven Steel Sword. I will take you, because you will do a lot more damage than that and last a lot longer. Uh, Dwarven War Axe. Sharpness 3. Knockback 1. Unbreaking 3. I will take you as well. Alrighty, uh, here's another staircase. I'd imagine these two actually might connect then. Let's open the door. Let's see what's on the side. 
Uh, looks like I see an opening actually to the surface over here, but I alas cannot get over this wall. Okay, and yeah, here is the other staircase that we saw. Okay then. What's down this way before we uh, go back to that guesswork history book? Here is a faded map. I uh, wish I knew where exactly we were, but uh, that is uh, unfortunate at the time being. Another evacuation order. Dormitories beat through H soldier barracks. Seems we have caved in. Uh, Acolytes quarters. Anything of interest in here? Holy book of scriptures of Ilhan. Flower pots. Gold coin. Um, anything in here? Scriptures of Ilhan. More dirt. Uh, clay tankard. Okay, nothing else of interest it looks like. Prayer, guide my hand to forge as you forged. Hmm. Alrighty. Oh, uh, Acolyte's Journal. I asked a question of Priest Solo Hammer today, and I find his answer curious. I asked, what is the best way to commune with Vilhan? He replied, present yourself before his altar, holding his holy scriptures. Why is that uh, odd? Why, why is that an interesting answer? I kind of feel like that would be a uh, obvious answer if you ask me. Uh, prayer, deliver us from the foul one's touch. Got into wolf. Uh, sorry, Zelda reference. Uh, Ocarina of Time, actually. I uh, I find uh, Ganondorf uh, foul, by the way. So that's actually why it made me think of that. Um, let us read the guest registry book. Registry of Visitors, Month of Stone Temper, Stone Temper, Year 856, Personages, Business. Uh, Lord and Lady Phyrone Higginbottom, Trade of Quality Dwarven Vodka for Glowstone. BJ Smegma of the Church of the Foul One. Entry denied, believed to be scouting Dwarven women for their rituals. William S. Preston, Esquire, Theodore Logan, Minstrels, uh, Minstrels of Dubious Proficiency. Lord and Lady Damaris Tem. Uh, Quaster of the Republic of Tespas Children, Delarin and Zanzer. Uh, diplomatic envoy regarding uh, Halite mineral rights near Stonefast. Okay, interesting. I'll just take one of the faded maps. Um, we are not actually on this map. Um, so where are we actually on this map? This map is of this area. Hmm. Um, dragon? Okay, so that looks like this room right, uh, right there actually where the crosshair is. Uh, that looks like that room right there. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a room. Might actually be the end of the map as well, who knows. Let us actually uh, head around a bit more and uh, see what there may be to see. Uh, we might be able to find some better armor as well. Who knows? So we ended over here at the Acolyte's Quarters. If we head around here, aha. Uh -huh. As I expected. Actually, not really. But um, it sounded good, right? Now, I could probably actually make it down there. Uh, I don't know if I'd be able to make it back. Actually, I think I would. Ow. Ow. That hurt. Uh, what is down this way, then? Looks like a long staircase to nothing. Uh, wasn't the point of this map to actually defeat the dragon, by the way? Uh, might be. What is down here, then? There's a rose encircled by thorns. Roth. Roth, Roth, Roth the cow. So many cows named Roth. Oh, hello, spawner. Uh, what are you doing there, spawner? Do 
don't know what you are, not letting you spawn. Do not wish to let you spawn at all. Um, a lot of cows named Roth. What's in this chest then? What? Hard Shatter on Breaking 3 can break block of redstone, mushroom, and monster spawner. Uh, bottle of Enchanting and Dried Roses. Uh, those two things had markers next to it of being important. Interesting to make note of, indeed. Hmm. wonder if there is anything up this way then, or if this waterfall is a red herring, or if you prefer a uh, blue herring. Because uh, water is blue. Yeah, bad pun. But, uh, you know, accept it. Uh, Bandit Mineshaft? Am I actually getting into vanilla terrain here at this point? Could very well be. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't look like I could go anywhere from that way. Uh, the cow just spawned. Okay, good to know. Alrighty then. Uh, let us actually head back up the staircase and kill off that dragon. Let's hit the spawn point there. Um, after kind of putting some torches around here, that uh, dragon room is fairly well lit. So I don't think I'll need uh, that many torches, if any at all. Plus I need to free up some inventory space. And we need to light this up anyway. So yeah, killing a couple birds with one stone, so to speak. <clears throat> Which is not an issue for me. Uh, I got 55 torches left. Uh, after this, I can always use the uh, night vision potions anyway, but I just want to be able to put like a line of torches so I can see most of the area, if not all of the area. This uh, mining system is actually uh, fairly, fairly large. Yeah, definitely fairly large. Um. Uh, mobs in here. Grimlocks, huh? Die, Grimlock. Ow. <clears throat> let's go ahead and eat a piece of steak before the zombie gets to us. Uh, let's go ahead and eat a second piece of steak. I know I wanted to eat the uh, cookies first, but they would, uh, they, they would, they would, I would just have to eat so many of them. In order to restore the hunger bar that far. Another one fell from where? Over here? Ah, uh, there is a spawner right there. Okay, and there's emerald down there. Okay, then. <clears throat> um, looking at the time... We might actually have to save the dungeon, uh, the dungeon, uh, the dragon fight till next episode. Um, yeah, actually, I will have to end the episode here. Whoa. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We are making progress kind of slow, and, uh, that's actually a different change of events for me in these kind of maps. Uh, usually the, the, they, they go by pretty quickly, but, uh, not this one. And so far, I'm highly enjoying the map. Um, there's a lot of lore and backstory to this one, uh, compared to Escape from uh, Zanzer Tem's dungeon. Um, so, definitely enjoying it. Courtesy torches. Awesome. So yeah, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, until then, take it easy.